building. I mean, no, no, no. L listen, I've talked to the cops involved. They were told stand down. There were at least three other shooters inside, just like witnesses are saying this time. Yeah, exactly. You're finding multiple stories of dual, uh, dual uh, shooters, people throwing different canisters. Uh, you have the same problem, whereas with Columbine, they, the, the amount of stuff that was carried in just seems improbable. Um, the timing, uh, the fact that he came out and sat next to his car, sat in front of his car, on his car, what, what have you, just seems like mind control. It just kind of has that. I asked when the news came out, I was like, hey, did uh, he start reading uh, the Catcher in the Rye right after he sat down? Well, listen, listen, for 200 years, they've had devil's breath. That's not new. That's suddenly in the news. Uh, the, the, the scopolamine, you blow that in somebody's face for several hours, they will chop their child up with a meat cleaver if you told them to. But 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 they're not high. They just do whatever you tell them. They got stuff that makes what they like is halcyon after the event to then tell someone they've done something. Listen, it the LAPD said that Sirhan Sirhan didn't shoot RFK, and we now know the CIA was there, and it was his security detail shot him in the caliber, and the witnesses saw it. And he was drugged that day. And that's even mainstream news now that Sirhan Sirhan is basically innocent. And that was with 1960s drugs. Great points. God bless you. Anything else, sir? I do want to say one thing. Um, I will tell you that after this event happened, I've talked to a lot of uh, old friends and old schoolmates. And um, we're definitely seeing signs of PTSD out here in Littleton. I can tell you this false flag operation stuff psychologically it does work um, don't worry it, the tsa is gone. coming to stick their hands down your pants they will keep you safe uh god yeah, bless I you won't be going to the mall. <laughs> no i hear you we won't be able to go anywhere they've got to come and check your house they've got to you know the government's totally secret you've got to have no rights to keep you safe of course uh let's go ahead and talk to ryan in texas and we'll come back and talk to others ryan go ahead i just wanted to make a few quick points here um Put yourself in that movie theater for a second. Those uh, doors where they said the witness uh, said that someone went to uh, the door to take a phone call, if he tried to open that door for this guy, wouldn't there be an alarm sounding? Yeah, all the theaters, I checked that in the last decade, have alarms on them uh, that uh, don't go off audibly, but let them know in the manager's office. Um, but, but I mean, they can't have like a loud alarm because people do leave movies through those. But a lot of them do have alarms. The big thing is they're set in hinges back in the wall, but they're saying someone went and opened the door for him. Now they're saying that's him. We have clips of witnesses saying, no, tear gas came from both sides. But, but again, the Russian government did stuff like this. I'm telling you, this is one of the oldest tricks in the book. Sorry, go ahead. I'm sorry. The, the idea, too, is a tear gas. You can't get that unless you're military or law enforcement. The other thing At I wanted first to, they said it was tear gas, now they say it's smoke bombs, but go ahead. Okay. The other thing I wanted to see was, has anyone tried to do a gunshot residue, te a residue test on the actual uh, or the alleged shooter? To see if well, he here's the deal. The when it's a real event, the police instantly tell you where they busted them, what happened, what, what went on. Notice they're not saying anything here. Mm -hmm. uh, notice Obama has showed up. Notice the, the, you know, they won't go in the apartment, all this. Uh, again... I've been watching this for 19 years, on air for 17. I've seen it over and over again. I know how they act when it's staged. Like Mumbai a few years ago, I said it's staged. Six months later, it came out in U.S. papers that the CIA ran the attack to blame Pakistan. I, 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 mean, I, I mean, again, I've just, I've watched this. Other people are into baseball. Other people are into golf. Other people are into acting cool. I'm into understanding how globalists operate, and they love staging stuff. There's a small chance he could just be some lunatic who got on drugs, but I don't think so. We'll be right back. I'm Elemento. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to go back to your phone calls. You keep the country free? Really, you spy on me to keep the country free, but you're not keeping it free. You're trying to take my rights away. Look, when governments want to attract their own people because they're controlled by mafias, they stage stuff to take people's rights. It's the oldest trick in the book. It's, it's happening again, and I'm sick of it. And look, all this is above my pay grade. But the average American I talk to just thinks it's their job to just go through life and have fun and ignore all this. Look, if you have that attitude... Corrupt people are going to come in and eat your lunch. 
And all I know is our government and other governments constantly stage stuff like Fast and Furious that killed thousands to blame our liberty so they can take them. And now there's been a tailor-made event with another lunatic they can just blame who's so whacked out of his mind he doesn't know who they are. I mean, if I was the government, I could go kill some people wearing a mask and then go grab a schizophrenic homeless person that doesn't know who they are and put them on the news as the killer. And then I've got army documents in Northwoods where they talk about shooting up movie theaters and public events and uh, you, you know dance halls and military bases and how to blame a patsy. And who's the patsy? A mentally ill person. I mean, this is really uncool. And so, hey, you got the UN Treaty right on time, folks. I told you this was coming, and I wish it wasn't an inside job, but my gut tells me it is, and all the evidence is there. So many points, so much research. Folks, show a document cam shot in here. If, if people are watching at prisonplanet.tv, there's probably 200 articles and documents in front of me. And you know what? I read or looked at all of these and more, okay? And my head is spinning with frustration. Do you know how many of these black ops that have been declassified are shooting at movie theaters? They love them because they're dark. Nobody knows what's going on. You shoot some people, you grab some patsy. The old days, they would just grab some felon they didn't like. And uh, you know they owned a few cops that were corrupt on the force who they'd have ready to bust them a few hours after. They'd plant some stuff on them. That was the end of it. Now they get these grad students. They electroshock therapy. I mean, that guy, doesn't, he, they say he's in the jail flopping around, spitting right now, the Associated Press, screaming he's the Joker. I mean, if he did it, you can't put him to death or in prison. He's completely insane. Like Bales, who killed, you know, all, what, 17 people or whatever in Afghanistan, four tours, had his part of his foot blown off, had been on medical disability, on a bunch of government drugs, and said, please don't send me back, and then watched his buddy get blown up the day before, and went haywire, taking hallucinogens, that's what Prozac is, and went, and, and they're gonna put him in prison, folks. That guy's completely off his rocker. Again, notice how, oh no, he, he, he knew exactly what he was doing, and this guy does too. Spitting on everyone, flopping around, screaming and yelling for hours on end with Bozo the Clown red hair. He's an insane person. He can't defend himself. They're having the fake 9-11 trials right now. And they've declared the whole trials national security, even though they're Pentagon kangaroo courts. That bombing they had in Europe last week, it was one of the alumni of Camp X-Ray. The average age there was 14. They'd grab little kids, brainwash them, drug them. That came out in the news. They had a mind control base. Look it up, CIA base within Camp X-Ray, where they did stuff I can't even say on the air and admitted to it. I mean, the sexual stuff they did to him was, and then they release him and the guy goes and blows himself up. I'm telling you folks, you better look into this. 20 years ago, they had remote control cockroaches with a, with a chip. 20 years ago, they had robo rats with a chip. They've got chips now where they can put a chip in you and have you say or do whatever they want. All I'm saying is governments have done this before. This guy was an advanced scientist at advanced levels doing research. We just confirmed it in these areas. And that's classically who they grab and who they do this to. Folks, the people running our country 60, 70 years ago would march young privates in and nerve gas them to test a new nerve gas and tell mama they all died of the flu. That's declassified. Of course they would do this. Just grow up and realize they do it to get the UN over our country. This is a conquering takeover and they're doing it through psy war, psyop. And I see right through it. Jerry in Louisiana, you're on the air. Then Lloyd, man bear pig, I guess Al Gore's calling. And uh, Karen, go ahead, Jerry, you're on the air. Hey, Alex, my name is Terry with the T. But, I'm sorry. Um, I love your show. I just have a few comments and then uh, three questions. Um, number one, you said that everything is like the Nazi pattern, you know, with the checkpoints that are coming and then the DIA. Hitler you know. staged shootings all over Germany, including public places, and blamed it on Poland. It's called Operation Himmler, yes. And it shows uh, in the DIA airport, it shows the Nazi rod no, uh, rising on the mural. Killing children and, and then the guns are banned, yes. 
And then um, the swaps of runways. Well, then this is kind of just like out of the Nazi manual with Night of the Broken Glass, how the Nazis went in and destroyed everything and then blamed it on the Jews. But um, then the other thing was my comment about the red-headed guy spitting around and not knowing who he is. Um, I love his uh, adult friend finder page, like they have this really hot girl behind him. There's no way in the world that's a legitimate picture because... No hot girl would have been interested in a guy with red hair like that. Well, so actually, a lot of well, 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 with the ninja and mind control, they would actually use women and drugs. So, if it was mind control, a lot of times their handlers will be super good-looking women. But then the other about the Nazi things, um, I started a blog. I started researching when you said uh, a couple of days ago about Columbine being on Hitler's birthday. I went and looked up all the different things. Oh, that yeah, did happened. you notice today is the anniversary of the Brevik shooting in Europe? Get this. In 1914, the Rockefeller, Rockefeller family on April 20th killed coal miners in the Ludlow Massacre in Ludlow, Colorado. In 1941, Germany bombers attacked Athens on his birthday. In 42, on his birthday, Germans assaulted uh, Malta. On 45, on his birthday, they occupied Binkster and Fencer. In 46, the League of Nations dissolved and the power was assumed by the United Nations. In 1985, under Reagan, the ATF raid on the Covenant, the Sword, and the Arm of the Lord. But it's not just that it's Hitler's birthday. That's a super high occultic day. In fact, this is the big summer. What is this, the longest day of summers today? No, no, it was June. Was, uh, well, 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 then what's the day today? I, mean, I saw something on the news. I was, it was, I was halfway. They were saying something about the summer today. All right, ma'am. Thank uh, you so much. I got to jump. We got some more callers. Uh, Lloyd in Canada. Good points. Go ahead. Hey, Alex. Um, just to all the American uh, listeners out there, this is uh, a big wake-up call that your Second Amendment means more than anything. If, if one single person in that theater was uh, expressing his Second Amendment right, there could have been a lot less people dead. Do you agree and, uh, that this speaks to high heaven? Oh, it, it, without a doubt, this is the perfect crime at the perfect time for the globalists. With this UN gun registry coming up, this is exactly what they needed, and everyone needs to realize that this is a false flag. All right, well, well said, Lloyd. Let's talk to Man Bear Pig in Pennsylvania. You're on the air, Al Gore. Welcome. Alex, this is not a false flag. It's not, sir? Should I pay all my money to you so the carbon dioxide won't kill me? <laughs> It's definitely a false flag. You're right. And, and you know, I'm like most people. I don't jump to conclusions. At first, I'm thinking, no, you know, it's probably some random act. The guy dropped out. He lost it because he failed in his Ph.D. program. But then, just like with the, uh, the shooting in Arizona, I didn't believe that either at first. But you put the facts together. You lay it out there for us. And I'm not saying you, you know, I'm listening to you only. I'm, putting my, I'm making my own determination. But it is definitely perfect timing, like the guy from Canada said. Here, it diverts everybody away from Fast and Furious, from Obama's low ratings, from the economy. The ATF was about to get abolished again. They admit they attacked Waco. They, you know, they picked a group they thought was unpopular to make themselves look good and attack them. Everything's a false flag. Obama's a false flag, for God's sake. He's, he's not, like you said, he's not who he says he is. It's a fall, he's a false flag president. Everything's a psyop nowadays. It's unbelievable. Look out for the London Olympics. I mean, that's, that, that's the next, next step on the hit parade. God bless you. By the way, I didn't even get into that today. Israel says Iran is going to attack is going to attack the Olympics, so they've got to attack Iran. We had that security expert who's been proven right. They're saying the security has been told to stand down. Uh, so we're going to be covering that tomorrow. I didn't get to all the clips of witnesses saying smoke bombs from other angles, multiple shooters. I'm going to cover it all tomorrow, 11 a.m. Central, 12 noon Eastern, Infowars.com, free audio streams or on the local AM and FMs. Pray for those uh, that lost loved ones. Pray for those that died. And buy guns to protect yourself from crazy people.